stress can sometimes take a surprising toll on the body, from chest pains to breathing difficulties, even rashes. We now know that red, itchy hives can also be triggered by stress. Health educator Dr. Eric Griggs joins us now to talk all about uh, stress, rash, and, and how to manage it. Good morning. Good morning. So, so it, what does this look like? So it looks exactly like you described it. It looks like hives. It's called urticaria. It can be small red bumps that are raised on the skin that really, really itch. And I, I know this from experience. When you were cramming for a, a medical test or something? When or what? I first decided to go into medicine, I decided I was going to work in a lab. And I didn't close the door on the incubator. And I ruined about six months worth of work oh. on the first day. Oh my. So I had to go back for the next six weeks and I had a ra very dark raised and red itchy rash on my arm that didn't go away until the program was and over. And it wasn't an allergic reaction or anything like that? Absolutely not. It was just stress because they made it known that I was going to have a stressful experience. Oh my. <laughs> Some people are more likely to get this than others. Doesn't mean that they are less stressed, but they, they just have it, they're more prone to it? Right, what happens is the stress causes a cortisol response and part of which we've learned through the pandemic is inflammation uh, and it can trigger a histamine release. People that are like myself that have atopic dermatitis or eczema, uh, allergies, those kids with the inhalers that have the itchy rats are more prone over the course of their lives to be uh, to have a stress rash. Was that a one and done in your case? or you? No, it's, it's happened since then. It happened in med school a couple of times. Also, I remember people with ulcer ulcerative colitis and other conditions can have it, but it, 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 it happens and it's unpredictable. How, how do you get rid of it? Yeah, the thing is you work on your stress, you take your antihistamines. If it lasts longer than six weeks, you go to the doctor. Um, if it gets- Six weeks? Six weeks. Uh, uh, it lasted for the entire program. Uh, it, it is very uncomfortable and very, very itchy. Can, can you just go to the store as a, stir, as a first stop and get some cream that helps or is, yeah, that, is that a good idea? Yeah, those cream, all those creams, they, they help. Uh, it's a benign condition, uh, anything to help with the symptoms of, of, of itching. Um, and Benadryl, the antihistamines. In the research I did for this, one of the suggestions was a bath, but that to me has a very big asterisk, which is don't make sure you're using the right kind of chemicals. Well, the right kind of chemicals, the right kinds of soap, so as not to irritate it. There are oatmeal baths, there's calamine lotion, there are a number of things you can do that, things to do not to irritate it. If you think about the same way you would treat a poison ivy or a poison oak, Rash, it's, it's that type, but this is not contagious. We don't do product endorsements here, but I think if somebody were to do a Google search, they would probably find that dermatologists largely recommend a couple of soaps. Yeah, a couple uh, of good. Over-the-counter soaps good. as opposed to what you might be, oh, that's the cheapest one, let me grab that. Yeah, with all the, all the, all the fragrances and chemicals that will, and also that would tend to dry out your skin and make it worse. So a couple more questions. How do you prevent this? The big thing is to woo sa try to de-stress as much as possible. Uh, notice the first signs, have your antihistamines online and make sure your doctor is aware of the outbreaks that you might have. But it's loose clothing, things not to irritate it. Would, would help. You know, the, we forget sometimes skin is the largest organ on the body. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't think of it as, as an organ, but it is. When do you see a doctor? You see a doctor if it really becomes, if you have, the, the, the problem is it's unpredictable. So if it's around your lips or your throat or interfering with your airway, uh, if it persists longer than six weeks, then you want to go to a doctor. Or if you just get uncomfortable enough that you need a doctor. It's a serious issue, but my wrist is suddenly itchy for no apparent reason. Don't start scratching. You're going to have me doing it. That, but that does happen where you, you start scratching and that's really a bad idea. Yeah, it's a horrible idea. Gotcha. Um, we'll, have, we'll do another segment on that. Try not to scratch. You we'll have do me. a segment on that sometime. Mom was right. <laughs> Mom's always right. <laughs> right. 920.